Welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending October 11th, 2019. This week brings a host of new anime series announcements. First up, PA Works announced that it is producing a new original anime titled Apare Ranman. The story takes place at the turn of the 20th century and features a Wild West car race across America. Yes, a car race. Don't see that a lot in anime. The pair of main characters, hoping to use the prize money from the race to travel back to their home country of Japan, compete using their own hand-built car powered by steam. Along the way, they must contend with other competitors, rivals, and even the great outdoors itself as they race from Los Angeles to the finish line in New York. Hint, you're going the wrong way. Meanwhile, Netflix and Science Saru have announced an upcoming anime adaptation of the classic sci-fi disaster, disaster novel Japan Sinks. Author Sakyo Komatsu published the original novel in 1973, and since then it's inspired live-action movies and series, as well as two manga adaptations. This new iteration will premiere on Netflix next year, and moves the setting from the original 1970s to 2020, just after the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. Auteur director Masaki Yuasa of Devilman Crybaby and others will be directing the new anime, which tells the story of a family attempting to escape disaster following a devastating earthquake in Japan. I don't think it's going to go well. Let's see here. Uh, one second. Sorry, there we go. It was revealed on Wednesday an anime project is in the works for the manga Dragon Goes House Hunting. The manga, which has been running in monthly comic Garden magazine since 2016, tells the story of a cowardly dragon who has been kicked out of his house for not living up to his family's standards of fierceness. According to Seven Seas, who serializes the manga in English, looking for a home on his own becomes quite difficult. Quote, In a fantasy world where everyone wants a piece of him, literally, the frustrations of house hunting reach a whole new level. End quote. DMM Pictures has announced an anime adaptation of Hiroaki Samura's Wave Listen to Me manga. The manga, which began in 2014, tells the story of a restaurant worker who gets unintentionally recruited into hosting a late-night radio talk show and her journey deeper into the world of radio broadcasting. Pretty interesting. The anime will premiere in April 2020. Tatsuma Minamikawa will direct the series at sunrise with Shoji Yonemura in charge of the script. DMM Pictures also published a promotional video along with the announcement, so if this catches your eye, go check it out on YouTube. I don't know why she's on the back of a bear either. <clears throat> Two light novels have also announced anime series this week, starting with bottom tier character Tomozaki, um, which, so we have an anime adaptation in the work for this from Yuki Yaku. The eponymous Tomozaki, one of the top gamers in Japan, is highly cynical about this game of life. There are no clear rules, no parameters for winning. Overall, let's be honest, it's a bad game. Then he meets classmate and fellow top gamer Hinami Aoi, who says that life is really a great game, and offers to teach Tomozaki the proper rules. The light novel began publication in 2016, so relatively recent, and has been rated as one of the top light novels in the This Light Novel is Amazing guidebook every year since. Can we get a copy of that, by the way? A manga ad adaptation began in Square Enix's Gangan Joker in 2017, and Yen Press is releasing the novels in English. Shu's light novel, Mao Gakuin no Futeki Gosha, about a demon king reincarnated 2,000 years into his future, is also inspiring an anime series. King Anoff, hoping for a more peaceful life, reincarnates 2,000 years into the future and finds himself going to school with his distant descendants in what used to be his own castle. The novel began publication in 2017 and spawned a manga adaptation in 2018. Square Enix will be publishing the manga in English starting in 2020. If you want to check it out, be warned, its full title continues the modern trend of too long to read in a single um, breath titles, but I'm going to try. <sighs> the Misfit of Demon King Academy, History Strongest Demon King Reincarnates and Goes to School with His, with his Descendants. <sighs> yeah. Mobile game fans, this last anime announcement is for you. An anime adaptation is in progress for Psy Games Inc.'s incredibly popular app game Shadowverse. Released in 2016, the game features fully voiced stories, along with its strategic single and multi multiplayer card battles. The series will be directed by Keichiro Kawaguchi and animated by Studio Zex. But no, we are not done 
with announcements. Viz Media announced at its New York Comic Con panel last Friday, it'll be working with Disney on manga based on Disney properties. Two books are in the works to be released in early 2020. Star Wars The Legends of Luke Skywalker will feature artwork by several different manga artists, including duo Akira Himakawa, who've created several Legend of Zelda manga, and Haruichi, creator of a webtoon centered around a young princess, Leia. The artists have not yet been revealed for the other book, Frozen 2, the manga. Is anyone surprised? Really? We shouldn't be. Meanwhile, the battle between the Hello Kitty and Gundam franchises continues. As part of their anniversary celebrations, 40th for Gundam, 45th for Hello Kitty, there, <coughs> excuse me, there's been an ongoing crossover project featuring the two iconic series facing off in rounds of limited time merchandise sales as well as animated short videos. And by the way, if you've not seen them, they are definitely worth watching. There is nothing quite like watching Hello Kitty leave her cutesy pastel house, fly into space, and stare down a giant mech in the middle of an intense battle. The latest update in the crossover was this, this week's announcement of a special fan event to be held at Sanrio's Pearl Land theme park in the spring. No less than Toru Furuya, voice actor of Mobile Suit Gundam protagonist Amuro Ray, is scheduled to attend, as well as a real Gundam and Hello Kitty herself? Okay. The event will feature talk shows outlining the state of the battle so far. Fans can earn points towards event attendance by purchasing goods, of course, with the top 500 fans from each side being invited to attend. That's a thing. Um, finally, if you've ever dreamed of smelling like your waifu, this one's for you. This week's iteration of anime-themed everyday goods is a collaboration between Axe Lab and the Fate Stay Night franchise. In anticipation of the upcom upcoming Heaven's Feel movie, Axe is releasing a set of body sprays themed after the movie's main girls. Rin, Sakura, and Ilya each have a custom-themed fragrance, Citrus, Savon, and Aqua, respectively. The collab also features a sensual image of Gilgamesh with the popular Axe fragrance Essence, if that's more your style. Those who participate get not only the body sprays. Purchasing the fragrances gives you download access to one of 11 different wallpaper images, including five drawn specifically for the collab. Those who spend more than 1,000 yen, about 10 bucks, will be entered into a drawing to win clear files featuring the new art. And those who exceed 1,500 yen, about 15 bucks, will be entered to win artboards signed by the character's voice actors, as well as hanging tapestries, which I assume means wall scrolls. The collaboration runs until December 31st, so if you're looking for a new personal perfume or just something to scent your Fate Stay Night Dakimakura, go check it out.